There's freaking screws. Oh, I hate screws so much. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca It's Aaron from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we are going to do an unboxing and installation of the Pelican Vault CE3180. Now, this is Teresa and she is with OCLI.ca and they are a large reseller of Pelican stuff as you can tell. We're in their warehouse and we're going to do all the Pelican stuff here. So the Pelican Vault CE3180 meets military 810G and IP54 standards, which means that it's dust, fully sealed against dust, and can survive momentary immersion and wind-driven rain. So it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. Uh, meets drop specifications. We can drop this case from about four feet and well, there's a faceplate to it, so this looks like a pretty tough case. We're going to crack it open. Now, we forgot our untaping tool, so I can't take this apart normally. Pull the top off. I'm told to pull the top off. Thanks, Teresa. So the case feels pretty solid. Now the materials that the Pelican case is made out of, they're guaranteed for life. So if you bust your iPad and the case, they'll replace the case but not your iPad. So don't drop it more than four feet. Instruction manual. There's freaking screws. Oh, I hate screws so much. So there's four instructions. The first one is unscrew everything, take it off, then put your iPad in and then screw everything together. So we'll get started. I should have brought some power tools. I wonder if the guy behind me would let me use his uh, air compressor. Now, one of the problems with uh, cases with screws is that if it gets wet and your, your momentary submersion and your water goes into full submersion, you're gonna have a hard time, you know, drying out your iPad. But on the flip side, one of the good things about screws is that they tend to keep your cases together, which when we're gonna mess this case up, it's probably gonna be a good thing for the iPad mini. Number two. Pop this thing out and lift. Now the inside of the case, I'm gonna collect all these stupid screws. Now the inside of the case looks like this. It's got some, looks like a lot of shock absorption stuff along the side. It doesn't look like the case really sits in the case. It sits on these ridges. I've got an iPad mini here. I'm gonna pop it in. We got to put all the screws back in. So many of them. Am I missing anything else? It's really not warm in here. So when I was growing up, my parents kept me in the basement doing math and science all the time. So I'm not very good with things that aren't mathy and sciencey, like putting little screwdrivers into holes. See, the instructions don't tell you you're supposed to snap the case on. It just tells you to put it on top and then put the screws in. I can tell you this is one case that you are probably not going to take your iPad mini in and out of that easily. Oh God, screw down. Now one of the things I did notice is that this doesn't come with a screen protector. And so, well, it didn't, didn't come with a screen protector um, installed. Now it does have this really badass looking cover and that's one hell of a screen protector but the problem is that you can't use the screen with it now based on a preliminary examination of the case I believe there's probably enough space for you to put a third-party screen protector so one of the neat things about this cover is that it also well, it acts as a screen cover but it also acts as a stand and that's a pretty handy feature again do check out the annotations at the end of the video as we'll find out for sure um, to see if we can actually put a third party screen protector into it. All in all, this, this feels like a really solid case. Fairly impressed with it. So do check back. We are going to do a full review uh, of this case. We'll do the drop test and the water test for them as well. And we're going to see how well this thing holds up. So far, I really like the orange. 
I'm Aaron the Ho. I'm a reviewer at mobilereviews.ca. And let's see if the iPad mini is safe within the Pelican Vault CE3180 case for the iPad mini and the iPad mini retina. Thanks for watching.